Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I, I, no, I told you I can't understand a word you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, look, is there something in front of your mouth? Literally, I do not, I have no idea what you're saying, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, look, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I swear something's wrong with my Snoopy phone. I can't understand a word that person says on there. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Peanut Sketch School. My name is Noel, and I'm gonna be your art teacher here in just a few moments. Today, I'm gonna to show all of you how to draw the world's most famous beagle, Snoopy. Man, I love Snoopy. This guy lives in his own world of happy. Well, before we get going, here's just a few little tips that'll help you get through sketch school. The best thing about this whole video process you get to work at your own pace. If you think for any reason the video is going too fast, you miss a step or you get confused, you can always hit pause and back it up and watch the step again. Or you can even freeze frame the image altogether and draw right off of the screen. Again, the beauty is you get to draw at your own pace. And whatever you do, you should never be stressed out during sketch school. This whole thing is for having fun. And another great way to really enjoy this is to invite some other people to come in and draw with you. Brothers, sisters, moms, dads, whoever's there with you. One of the best things about sketch school, when we do it at our parks, after the class, we have everyone hold up their drawings and everyone looks around and sees how everyone did. It's wonderful to share your artwork and it's kind of fun seeing how everybody draws different. Now for today's art project, we're gonna need eh, just a few simple art supplies. And I'm pretty sure you have them around the house already. The first one, the cartoonist's best friend, an ordinary pencil. This is one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. I recommend a nice soft lead. There'll be a number two on your pencil if it's soft, but that's not really a big deal. You could use a pen, a marker, or even a crayon. What you won't need is an eraser. We're gonna be doing a rough sketch. I'm gonna talk a bit more about that as we get into the drawing process. And the other thing you're gonna need, the second best friend of the cartoonist, <gasps> A blank sheet of paper. I always have lots of this stuff around. Nothing like blank paper. You literally can put anything in your imagination on there once you learn a few little drawing rules. Well, I think that's about it. Are you ready to draw a beagle? Pencils up. It's officially cartoon time. All right, let's get to drawing a beagle. Step number one, we need to draw the main shape of his head. Now he's a little different than the other Peanuts characters. He starts as a circle, but then we have to build a snout on there. Now for the circle, I say lightly in the middle of your page, sketch in a circle about the size of an orange. That's a good size to work in. Now the key trick to sketching, first keep it light. You're not writing a letter O, you're building a circle. In fact, if you look at the screen, I'm barely touching the page every time I, I apply the pencil. And when I do, I'm just sketching in a curved line, a nice big broad stroke. When you write, you only use your wrist and you make these little chipping strokes. Your Snoopy will look kind of fuzzy if you do that. Sketching is more like sculpting. So get that arm moving nice and light. There we go. Whoop. All right, got our circle. And don't stress out and try and make this perfect. This is about having fun. Now, if we were drawing Charlie Brown, we can go to town and start putting his face on here. This guy, he's built a little bit different. He's got that snout on him. So, for the snout, I'm gonna add a rounded letter U right on the side. The top of this starts about a third of the way down, and the bottom of it about a third of the way up. In fact, if you want, Come on, even give yourself. I love putting these little dots on here and playing a game of connect the dots. I want to snout about there. So remember how we sketched really light here, gang? We'll get light again, but this time we're going to bring a big old letter U right off of here. And the bigger you draw this snout, the funnier your Snoopy's going to look. Have fun with this. His nose is going to go right in the middle of this. This big circle's the head. Whoop. This is the snout. Should kind of have a peanut-like shape once you got all of this together here. There we go. Oh man. All right, so we got this lumpy shape. Let's turn it in to a cartoon dog. First feature I like to draw usually is the nose, but on Snoopy, I'm gonna start with his ear. 
That's the biggest feature on them. Now, the top of the snout here, gang, whoop, that always lines up with the top of his ear. Come right over here. Now, his ear is a teardrop shape. I'm just gonna pull a curve line right off of the back. And you curve in. See, it's three lines, basically. It's a curve coming down, curve going in, and then a curve going back up. Think of a teardrop or a, ooh, a pumpkin seed shape. These ears are super floppy. They look like a teardrop from the side view. But when Snoopy starts bouncing around doing one of his famous happy dances, they flop all over. All right, we got the ear, we got the snout. Now let's start sculpting the shape a little bit better. For the top of the head here, I'm gonna darken this up just a little bit. This will say this is the top of the head. Check it out, I didn't darken the front of it here. See, I just did the top. Now the next step, and this is very important whenever you draw Snoopy, I slope down to the snout. There's the top of the head and this slopes into it. If you make this as round as the front of the snout, he kinda has what looks like a gumdrop head. It'll make your Snoopy look a little bit blobbier. This little slope is, it's subtle, but it's an important part of the design to really make it look like our pal Snoopy. Okay, now we're getting here. The last thing we need is the neck. And this is something all Peanuts characters have in common, a big head and a skinny little neck. Right where that snout is touching the bottom of our circle here, I'm going to curve in and down. That will be the front of the neck here, gang. Now, for the back of the neck, we're gonna do the same thing. It just curves the other way. The trick is, you wanna bring these fairly close together. If you go right from the back here, he's gonna have a thicker neck. This is gonna make him look more muscular. So starting right on the ear, remember how we had a curve going this way? Just curve the other way. But get kinda close. You want that skinny feeling. Again, all these characters have a large head and a skinny little neck. They also have these little rounded bodies that look kinda like a little rounded triangle. Now for his color, it's just a very thick line. You can just fill this right in here. I notice in the comics and the cartoons, his color is black. If you ever buy any Peanuts merchandise, his color's red. I just wonder why they did that. Definitely makes him stand out on the toy shelves, that's for sure. <gasps> look at this, it's starting to look like the Beagle. If you have a dog, think about your dog when you draw Snoopy. Dogs always get in kooky adventures. Try and channel your inner pooch. All right, now for this face. Let's get the nose on here. Now the nose, boop, sits right in the middle of the snout. And all this is, it's a circle that's been squashed, which is an oval. Just take the circle shape, we're gonna make it shorter and wider. I like to draw this with two curves, a curve line and a curve line. And then you connect them. Again, you're building a shape, just like you did that circle. Stay sketchy. Blend those lines together. It's not about writing one definite mark, and if it doesn't look right, you gotta erase. It's about building and adjusting it. Let's round it out a little bit here. Here we go. A dog's healthy, his nose should be cold and just a little bit wet, by the way. Now let's wake him up. His eyes are gonna go back here. They always line up the top of the nose come in and they go right underneath this forehead slant here. One, two, there he is. Now the eyes, they're not just dots, they're very small ovals. They're pretty much the same shape as the nose, but again, smaller. I'm gonna draw a curve and a curve here. The real trick to these eyes, think of them as another shape. It's not just a dot. There we go. But when you have these the way you like them, er, color them in super duper dark. I'm really pressing down with the pencil here. You really want this to stand out. That way your viewer will notice it. It looks Snoopy in the eyes. Now the trick with Snoopy's eyes, as small as they are, and the way that they're placed on the head in this odd fashion, it's hard to show which direction he's looking without the eyes sliding around on our main head shape here. Here's how Charles Schultz did this. I'm gonna have my Snoopy looking backwards. 
I'm gonna start at the very bottom of this pupil and just bring a curved line right off of here. And here we go, that little arch. See, now that definitely says he's looking that way. What is Woodstock doing over there? And just bring another one off this side here. Now, if you wanted your Snoopy to look the other way, you would just draw those curves on this side. Or if you wanted him to look up, you would draw the pupil at the top. Another fun thing about the Snoop, his eyebrows are a little different than the other characters. They actually float up and off the side of his head. Now, in the real world, this doesn't make a lot of sense, but in the comic strip funny world, these look very expressive and make Snoopy very recognizable. Instantly, you can tell he's his expression here. He's looking over here quizzically. Hmm. All right, this is it. Let's give the dog a smile. The corner of his mouth lines up with the center of the nose, and it goes right in between the ear and the eyes here. So you find the center of that nose. Come right back. Boop. That's where the corner of the mouth hits. This is just a curve. Oh, look how happy he is. This guy's almost always in a good mood. He has all these flights of fantasy and drifts off into his imagination so much. I really relate to him. Now for the smile, this is just the letter U. And the trick here, gang, you want it to touch the bottom of the head shape. So starting in the middle here, just a big old letter U. <gasps> Look at that. Charlie Brown just got home from school. He's bringing the bowl of dog food. Snoopy's excited. And the last step, I highly recommend you do this. It's optional, but you can shade in the ear and the nose. Now check this out. For shading, I'm gonna lay the pencil down on its side here. Not the point. This makes your pencil like a crayon. Perfect for throwing a little shade and tone into the spots where you want them. And the harder you press down with the pencil, so I'm gonna press down a little harder here, it'll give you a little bit of a darker tone. And you color in that nose there, get a little bit of a sheen on this. Snoopy has an arch enemy in the Red Baron. He's always imagining that his doghouse is a sop with camel, which is a type of fighter plane. I had to look that up when I was a kid. There was a lot of big words in some of these Peanuts comics, and this strip sent me to the dictionary more times than I can think. And that's a good thing. Hey, we just drew Snoopy. Now there's one last thing you gotta do, and I think this is so important here, gang. I truly believe every artist should always, always, always sign their work. You just drew your very own picture of Snoopy. Man, I never get tired of drawing Snoopy. He's been a joy my whole life. In fact, I used to have Snoopy bed sheets. I love this little guy. Well, thank you so much for drawing one of my favorite characters with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I really hope you keep practicing. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. And who knows, maybe someday you'll write a comic script that'll be in the funny papers and we'll be drawing your characters here at Sketch School. Until next time, everyone, stay sketchy.